If you love Notion but wish it was faster, or if you never tried Apple Freeform, this video will change the way you plan content. I tested both tools side by side for well over a year, and here is what I learned about which one truly helps creators stay consistent. Both Freeform and Notion promise structure and creativity, but they serve totally different personalities. If you're a visual planner, you'll love one, but if you're a systems thinker, the other might be your match. So let's break it down from a creator's perspective. So what exactly is Apple Freeform? Apple Freeform is a free collaborative and flexible digital whiteboard app that is available on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It allows users to brainstorm, sketch, or organize their ideas by adding content like text, photos, videos, links, and documents to a virtual canvas. Freeform supports real-time collaboration with up to 100 people and syncs across all Apple devices via iCloud. Okay, so let me take you behind the scenes of how I am able to use Apple Freeform. So basically what actually happened here, I wanted to do my introduction video. And so I want to talk about who I am what I do and what people can expect on my pages. I also want to include some B-roll from my previous um, videos and shots that I have in library. I want to start learning about color grading and color correction. And so this is going to be my first video that I'm literally recording in log. And then when it comes to the aesthetic and the scene and all the things that you see in the video or would be behind the video, my husband is responsible for that. <laughs> okay. And so what I did, I'm not only using Apple Freeform and Notion, but I'm bringing in two other tools that work seamlessly inside of the Apple ecosystem, which is notes and which is reminders. And so what I did, I actually scripted the video that I want to do a 60 second video reintroducing myself inside of Apple notes. And this is where you're seeing the link. So now you can actually link your notes inside of Apple Freeform. And so if I tap on this, I can tap on the eye and it's going to literally open up that for me. And here is the actual video uh, script of that video. And then I want to plan to record. So I wanted to record this on November 10th, which was last Monday at the time of this recording. All right. And so inside of Apple Reminders, I made it a content priority to record my reintro video. Now, when it comes to free form, I would say that free form is for my visual thinkers. You can drop your screenshots brainstorm your ideas, sketch your thumbnails, or even storyboard your video concepts. It's actually perfect for like the big picture planning, your mood boards, your content maps, and your workflows. And this is exactly how I use it. Now, Notion on the other hand is a flexible all-in-one digital workspace for individuals and teams to organize their work and life by creating customizable documents, wikis, projects, and databases. It replaces multiple apps by allowing users to manage their notes, projects, tasks, and even having everything in a singular space using a customizable block system that builds pages as well as databases. What I did at this point, before I actually recorded the video, I went over into Notion. I put it, let me show you guys my content calendar. <laughs> so I actually put it here. Um, my reintroduction video is going to be released on Friday. So this is the video and notice I changed the status. Initially I had it as planned. So this is going to be my reintro video. It's already recorded, um, which profiles is going to be on which platforms. And also I do my video scripts and I kind of plan out the entire video inside of notion. All right. And this is basically my content flow planner, which is available in the creator flow kit. The link is in the description down below. 
And I have found that Notion is great for my system creators. It's the ultimate database tool. You can create your content calendars, your templates, and even have advanced automations across multiple different apps. This is great for tracking your metrics with your content, collaborating with your team. But the downside of Notion for creators is that it takes longer to set up and it isn't as intuitive for quick creative work. Okay, so here is the secret. I use both of them. Freeform is where I put all of the ideas. Everything that I have in my head, I put it inside of Freeform. And Notion is where I execute. So think of Freeform as your visual playground and Notion as your organized library. Together, they create the perfect workflow for creators who want freedom as well as structure. This is a little snippet of the behind the scenes of the video. And so I took it from the eye day that I started to like literally write out until I actually have that finished product. So which team are you? Team Freeform or Team Notion? Drop it in the comments below. And if you are ready to create systems that elevate your productivity, download the Creator's Productivity Cheat Sheet. It's completely free and it's your first step towards staying organized and consistent without burnout. You will find the link in the description below. As always, your tech should be working for you and not against you. I'll see you in the next one.